Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and this week I'm going over a plugin I've been using forever, and I can't believe I've never done a tutorial on it. And this job, or this uh, this jobs is plugin. No, this this plugin is called MC Jobs, and it is fantastic. Um, I really enjoy it. A lot of people on the server, my server, enjoy it. And basically, what it is is it, it allows people to get jobs and money for doing everyday things that they would do in Minecraft. Um, so shout out to Nerd Burger and Samsung 109. They have no idea, but I am recording at the moment. But anyway, if you do slash job space join or list, uh, you get a list of the jobs. This I'm basically going to go over what it looks like, and then I'll go into over the configuration on the back end. Um, so it's going to list me here. I can have four or four jobs because I'm admin, otherwise known. Uh, all the MVPs have four or four. These guys are all citizens. I think they can hold two jobs so vip you get more jobs mvp you get the most jobs and then these highlighted ones are the ones i am these are the jobs i have so you can get money for making weapons digging dirt enchanting you can check out and you can modify these jobs all you want you can make custom jobs if you'd like um, but basically you can do jobs um, and then i think you can just type in the one and then this will tell you all the money that you get builder earns money by placing construction blocks i like this one because i build a lot of stuff uh base pay is 1.4 um because i've upped my level i'm level 13 the one that i get the most shout out to jay the one that i get the most for is woodsman woodsman i think that's the highest one i am i'm level 16 base pay is 0.216 so every tier you basically take the base pay and then you times by the tier number of where it is so um basically what it looks like here i'm gonna i'm gonna mine a little bit let's let's uh make something out of this i guess do i have my fortune pick on me um this is kind of odd because I'm actually on my server for a video. I don't usually am on my live server while I'm. I've modified so I've modified the jobs plugin myself a little bit, but I'm gonna show you what this looks like in a moment. I'll get uh, a notice in a second. Oh well, here you can kind of see it right here. Your MC jobs has earned you 6.65 greenies. That's the money we use in the past five minutes. So you can configure it to be money, or you can even just do if you don't have Vault or an Economy plugin or an Economy plugin, you can do uh, XP. So you learn you earn XP for doing all these things. Um, okay, here we go. And then I don't think I'm a miner, so I don't get any money for doing that. But I get money for being being a woodsman. Um, and I think that's all. So let's hop over to the configuration part of it. And I'll show you. It's pretty complicated in depth, but by default, it's usually set up. It's actually pretty good to just set up and go, start it and go. And but the default configuration is really nice. Um, that's basically all I did. So let's hop over there. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are in the plugin. Um, just a heads up on why there's no face cam this week. I. Uh, I'm heading out of town next week, and I didn't have time to do this because I need to record two tutorials so that you guys keep seeing these things come out. So here's the configuration file. This is not the default config file. This is my little modified one. Um, this is what I use on my server, but I'll just go and explain some of the things here. The max pay is negative one. Uh, percent cost is something that to do with if you have taxes turned on. So when somebody modifies something in one of the jobs, it will cost them whatever the percentage, but then of of the pay that they would receive of that. So if you change that to 90, they would have to pay 90%. The problem with that is you can't specify to only tax people once they're in a job. At least that's what we saw. The configuration might have changed, but the author hasn't updated this for quite a while, but it still works in 1.62, which is fantastic. Now here's, you can show the pay, so it'll show up. And then it'll show the in interval, so it'll show every minute how much money you make. Um, here's, here's where you can let, list the max jobs based upon the group. And so by default, you can't get a job on my server until you're a member after you've passed the trial period and so on and so forth. Um, that's pretty straightforward. 
it's really easy. Now the ranks is this is can be configured. This is the ranks in each one of the jobs that you can get. And as you gain XP in the job, uh, you get above these ranks. So this is how much XP you need to get above that rank. Um, that also then gives you more money per thing that you do and so on. So advanced is, this is kind of the interesting one. I have it set to false just because I don't really specify how it's run. Um, if you do f use perms false, by default, all users besides the admins will be able to do general um, basic uh, job, you know, job list, job join, job quit, that kind of stuff. You can also do multi-world support, so it only works on certain worlds. This is where I do payment type. I do money because that's what it is. If you, you can do um, XP in here, and then uh, depending on the economy mod that you have, the payment mod will be just be vault. Um, so this requires on uh, this is, ba is based upon vault. So pay scale is one, XP modifier is ten. So if you up this, then it would up all your pay payments per job. So it'd be times whatever this is, and that's pretty much it. I like this. Uh, if they just sit outside a spawner, it doesn't count that as money, um, which is pretty cool. Now let's hop over. This is the jobs config, uh, jobs configuration file. These are all found in the, the folder that's created after you put the mic jobs or MC jobs dot jar in your plugins folder. And then this just lays out all the stuff. So digger, uh, you put a description. We saw that in the previous thing. The base pay is 50 cents and then you get a quarter of an experience per, per, uh, uh, break so you put pays to true hide to false because we want to see it and then this is where you list the tiers just put spaces in between the items and it uses just the net the general names of the items um so i kind of i i think by default this is one one and i i lowered them just to uh keep things even kind of on the on the server the so you can change these, you can make up new names for them, you can make up new jobs if you want. Um, this is craft, repair, these are all the modifiers you can put in the job. Break, uh, place, because that's a builder, craft, repair, um, that kind of stuff. Now, down here at the bottom is the one that I'm looking for, or did I just, I removed it. There's, there's a tax one that... Uh, did I, I think there's a, there's a default modifier to set to true. So automatically you're, you're put in that job. But like I said before, the problem with that job is it doesn't, uh, it, like tax is a good idea, but you should only get taxed on jobs that you're a part of, but you can't distinguish that. So, um, some of these you can do show every time, like these ones are not going to be as, um, as uh, often because they're conjuring or enchanting, uh, brewing, stuff like that. So it'll show you how much money you make per thing that you you uh, make. And yeah, so like I said, this is, it's a pretty basic, I mean, it's complicated, but basic. The, conf the default configuration is fantastic. And you can pretty much just fire this up modify the max jobs if you want to do that and then let it go and it works if you want to tweak some stuff like make different jobs less expensive or if you want to change the name of the jobs you want to make some of your own jobs um, that is all out there i'm not going to put up my configuration file just because this is the one i use on my server but like i said the default configuration file file is fantastic so if you found this helpful, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe because that helps me out. If you have questions about it or run into problems, put it in the, the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. I won't be able to answer until the 19th because that's when I'll be back in town. But um, I'll do I'll spend some time when I get back and answer all those questions when I return. And um, yeah, I have some more tutorials. I have some content coming out next week that I already have, I already have scheduled. So this is Cosmic Friends, and as always... Enjoy the game. Here we go. Now I got a proper boat. Oh, no!